Right, this is my second attempt at trying to record this because obviously my uh, shaky fingers aren't really doing it for me. The uh, first question from Kendall is, is Parkinson's disease a blessing or a curse? Well, really, neither. It's a blessing that I know I have something wrong with me and I understand what it is. It's a curse also because I know what it is as well. So, either way, mm, it's not a blessing, it's not a curse. But it's good to know that I'm just not making things up and I know what is wrong with me. I would come to you I would swim the sea for the easier pain the uh, second question, uh, what do you think about Parnsey Sports Sites? Absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's great to speak to our people, I've uh, met a lot of good people, uh, they've had lots of support and advice for me. Uh, when it comes to medication, how are you feeling? Uh, overall, I really can't say anything bad about Sports Sites. We're all there for each other. Everyone's Parnsey's disease is different, no one's the same. And it's good to listen to our people's experiences and how they're progressing with their disease. And, uh, how they're managing it, coping with things. Third question is, uh, how is life different for you with Parkinson's disease? Well, at this moment in time, it's not drastically different for me. Uh, I'm currently off work at the moment, I'm a train driver, that's what I do. Uh, I'm probably never ever going to be able to do that again. That upsets me. Uh, Kids like the fact that my train driver. I like the fact my train driver. That I've got to accept them. I'm not any longer. Uh, things are always going to be different now. Uh, it's just trying to stay positive and move forward. Set yourself daily goals. Stick to those daily goals. Hey, I was even putting your socks on in under a minute. Hey, so what? At least I can do it in under a minute. Uh, I'm quite active uh, with regards to martial arts. I do the uh, Kemo Jiu Jitsu. I'm due to grade for black belt in five weeks' time. I'm still maintaining to function and do that. I'm currently in requip, uh, XL, 4 milligrams. Uh, well, I'm actually on 8 milligrams, 2 4 milligram, two, four milligram tablets uh, twice a day. Once a day, sorry. Once a day, sorry. Brain freeze. Uh, so basically, yeah, I'm doing okay at the moment, but I'm aware that things are going to change in the future. Uh, fourth question, uh, when the doctor first told you how did I feel, well I kind of diagnosed myself to be honest. Uh, I knew something wasn't right with me, I suspected it was Parkinson's. Uh, I went to my doctor, my GP, uh, my wife knew something wasn't right with me. I suspected it was a trapped nerve, uh, it turned out it wasn't a trapped nerve. Uh, I had an MRI scan, a radionuclide scan and they kind of came back saying well our best guess is you have Parkinson's. No definitive clinical diagnosis of Parkinson's, but it's the best case, isn't it? So, to be honest, it could be a lot worse. could be motor neuron, could be an MS. I'll probably get it based out of a bad lot. So, I'm looking positive in that respect. Uh, just try and keep active. Do the best I can get through this. Although, I know that's going to be very difficult. Uh, five, what will happen what will happen if your family's part of the disease progresses? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's very difficult. I say I have eight children. I'm kinda glad it's me that has it and not them. Uh, I'm aware of the fact that they're not gonna see me in years to come as the father and maybe I'm now. That scares me. Uh, my abilities that I have now. I love my martial arts, I love to train my children. I'm aware at some point it's going to come. I'm not going to be able to do that. I love my wife. I just realised that at some point there's going to be a slight role reversal here. That scares me. Yeah. It's still not a day yet. Still got a, I've accepted I've got Parkinson's. I have Parkinson's. But some of these questions at the moment there's no definitive answer to them because I really don't know where we go from here as a family. 
think things are going to change and affect us as a family. I just want to stay strong for everyone, I want everyone to stay strong for me. Yeah. A big shout out to Kendall, you Kendall, you do a fantastic job in the videos that you make. Yeah. God bless everyone.